All right, we're at the Santa Barbara Cars and Coffee. Tell us about your beautiful Tiger here. Yeah, thanks. So it's a 65 Sunbeam Tiger uh, Mark 1A, so one of the earlier uh, models, and um, got it about 25 years ago, and it was kind of a mess. I'd always wanted one, and eventually got around to restoring it, but it's got the original 260 engine in it and four-speed transmission. And, uh, and you said you restored it? Yeah, kind of with a with a friend of uh, some help from a friend, shall we say. <laughs> I took it down to get it painted, and then the next thing we know, we had the whole thing torn apart. Oh, one of those projects yeah. where it's going to be this, and then it's Just being the, this, it, right? this, and then it winds up becoming yeah. a complete. And then the funny thing was, he was a painter, and he was fine with pulling it apart and painting it, but he didn't want to put it back together. <laughs> so I wound up putting it back together myself in yeah. his shop over the course of about four years. So, so I mean, you said you'd always wanted one of these. Yeah. Um, where'd you find this one? Actually, uh, Simi Valley, um, of all things. I worked down in Thousand Oaks, so I was perusing the, the website, and this thing popped up, and he had a couple of tigers, and this one was probably the rattiest of them all, <laughs> and one that I could afford. <laughs> so uh, so he, the guy had several tigers, yeah. and you picked this one? Yeah, yeah. Wow. How long did it take again? It took about four years to restore okay, it. That's a, that's a pretty good commitment. Mostly because... We were all busy with other things. Did you, uh, did you rebuild the motor as well? Everything, nothing on this car has not been touched. Wow. So it's complete rebuild. Motor's probably got about 500 miles on it. Wow. Well, I love the color. Yeah. Uh, how'd you decide on a color? It was originally midnight blue, but it was kind of like a flat, dark blue. Um, so not very exciting. And we didn't, this isn't a concourse car. So um, I saw this metallic blue. It's actually um, a Lexus blue. Okay, I was and, about to say, it has uh, a nice metallic in it. Yeah, it has a nice little yeah. pop to it. So, um, so yeah, that's what we did. And the rims match. It's a period. I mean, you see, you'll see these cars with these rims all the time. Yeah, um, th those weren't on the car when I got it. Yeah. So they they kind of mini lights or, or those Panamera's actually. What are the Panasports? Yeah. I would imagine you get a lot of thumbs up when you're driving yeah, down the road yeah. in this thing. Some folks know what they're looking at. Some folks just think it's a cool little car. Yeah. Well, it's the Tiger. So yeah. it, this is a what, what kind of horsepower? You know, uh, no. I haven't dynoed this okay. thing. It's maybe, if I'm lucky, 200. Well, it's a smaller, the it's, a, it's the 260. Yeah. So the 260 V8, yeah. so a smaller, yeah. smaller V8, but it probably drives But it's the well. same block and yeah. everything as the 289. Those are great motors. Yeah, 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 it's really solid. Tons of torque. All right. What was the most difficult thing to work on when you were putting this together? Um, I think just putting all the body panels together so it was kind of straight, straight and yeah. lined up. Um, and then, Patience and money. <laughs> Those are probably the other two things that were hard. Well, parts, did you have to, I mean, sometimes parts are difficult to find for these. It's a sunbeam. Actually, beam, so. it's really easy. There's a place oh. up in San Jose that specializes in sunbeam parts. So you can pretty much buy almost everything you need for this. Yeah. And it's a Ford drivetrain. So sure. those things are everywhere. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Love it. Love the car. Yeah. Thanks for asking right. about it.